We are happy to welcome you to our Monday message for children. Many times we have talked about our Blessed Mother Mary. As you know, we have her statue here in our church, and we are always proud to come to our Blessed Mother to pray to her and to ask her for her help. We honor our Blessed Mother in many ways, as you know. In December, we honor her appearance at Guadalupe in Mexico, where she appeared to a man named Juan Diego. In May, we honor her appearing to three shepherd children at Fatima in Portugal. And this week, on February 11th, Thursday, we will honor her as she appeared at Lourdes in France. Over 150 years ago, a young girl named Bernadette Subaru was collecting wood for her house, and she heard a gust of wind. And then she looked up, and she saw a lady dressed in a white robe with a blue sash and holding rosary beads in her hand. That was the first appearance of our Blessed Mother to Bernadette. All told, she appeared 11 times. And once when Bernadette asked her who she was, her answer was, I am the Immaculate Conception. I am Mary conceived without sin. Bernadette was only 14 years old. She was a poor girl. She was certainly not special as far as the world is concerned. She was just an ordinary person, a young person like many of you. And yet she loved God, and she certainly loved our Blessed Mother Mary, and perhaps that is why Mary chose her to be her special messenger for sick people. When Mary appeared to Bernadette, one time she told Bernadette to dig in the ground, and there she would find a spring of water. Now, there was no water there at all. But when Bernadette started digging, all of a sudden, a spring of water gushed up. And that began a wonderful thing at Lourdes. People coming there to pray for our Blessed Mother's health, curing them of many, many diseases, and helping them to be better. If you were to go to Lourdes, you would see by the statue of Our Lady there, many crutches left there by people who could not walk, but who were cured and able to walk because of our Blessed Mother Mary. As I mentioned, this Thursday is the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. And Pope Francis has declared Thursday the World Day of Prayer for the Sick. The Pope has reminded us of something that we all know, how important it is to pray for people who are sick. And I say that especially for you children. Remember your prayers are powerful. And your prayers for people who are sick, whether you know them or not, are certainly very important. And I also ask you to pray for people who are helping the sick, doctors, nurses, EMTs, healthcare professionals, people who are taking care of the sick at home. These people need your prayers too. And your prayers for them will help them to be stronger and stronger in helping others in Christ's name. We call our Blessed Mother Mary 
health of the sick. And we always turn to her because she helps people who are sick, not only in body, but people who are sick in their spirit. Many people have gone to Lourdes and have not looked for a physical cure, but for some reason, they needed a spiritual cure. Maybe they had been away from the church for many, many years. And by being there, our Blessed Mother Mary helped them to come to confession and to come back home to Christ. Our Blessed Mother Mary, help of the sick, certainly helps us all. May she help all of those who are sick, and may she help us to come closer to Jesus, her Son. And through the help of our Blessed Mother Mary, may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.